Why are you here? I'm here because I want to secure a place at your great university, sir. Why should we accept you? Because I am, I, I am, I am a good person, and I want to make the world a better place for everyone. And and, and I know I could do this if I if I, if I studied here. And what is up, everyone? Welcome back to another one on the A Team channel. I guess you all know what today's one is all about, then, huh? Right? Of course you do, stop playing with me. Today's one is all about smashing interviews and the focus in particular is going to be on online interviews for universities. So I've created this ultimate guide that can get you on your way for preparing for these interviews. And what I've done for this one is to break it down into segments so that you can follow it through at your own convenience. And throughout this whole thing, I'm going to give you my own tips that can give you that slight edge to going ahead and smashing these interviews and securing your place at your dream course at your dream university. Okay, so right before we get into that guys, I hope this one will be of some benefit to you. If it is, then if you can give this one a thumbs up and do share it around with your friends who could also be in the same position as you. So let's now get into it. Now, some of you may in fact favor the convenience of an online interview. There's no traveling involved, your costs are minimized, and you obviously save a lot of time in the process as well. Whilst I'm also pretty sure that some of you out there would also, of course, would have preferred that traditional format. In fact, if I recall correctly, my first university interview was also conducted online for some strange reason. I'm not even sure why it took place over Skype. I know people don't use that these days, but, um, yeah, I, since then I've conducted a ton of interviews for banks, multinational companies, and even more universities. And I've even gone ahead and been on the other side where I've interviewed people like yourselves. It's always interesting when the tables do turn around. Okay, I'm quite confused. I was trying to know. I've never applied for a job here. I had like a job like that I didn't get a job. Let me start off by saying that interviews are daunting for everyone unless you're so accustomed to it that it's just completely normalized for you. So don't be feeling like you're the only one that's feeling nervous. In fact, I'd be more concerned if you weren't nervous at all. Now, you of course don't want to be too nervous to the point where you start tripping over your own words and struggling to string together your sentences. And the best way to overcome your nerves is by getting familiar with the context of your interviews. Most universities will give you a format of how the interview will be conducted ie MMI like the dentistry and medicine interviews which I've covered in the last video if you haven't already checked that out then I would strongly encourage you to go and do so as that could be of some benefit to you or you could very well be told who it is that's going to be interviewing you it could be the faculty head or a professor of the course this can of course act as a good source where you can then go ahead and conduct a little bit of research around them and around the course in general so that you're prepared for the interview which will allow you to demonstrate that you are interested interested, giving you a better chance in securing your place. So I would strongly encourage you to go away and find out what format and style of interview it will be. Now, as most institutions will be resorting to technology to conduct these interviews, it seems like this might be the case for the foreseeable future. I wonder if things go back to some state of normality, whether universities will continue this style or resort back to the traditional way of doing so. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment down below. Let me quickly step in here and give you a quick tip interviews are not designed to trip you up the whole idea behind an interview is well primarily because the university actually approved of your application and you got to try and understand that because places may be limited and they have had more applicants for places or more applicants applying for places they want to try and see the applicants in person or as in this case being online to see whether you can enhance that initial impression that they got of you the reason i'm saying this is because too many people sometimes walk in with this preconception that the interviewers are trying to catch them out they may of course ask you questions that may seem like it throws you off a little bit but your performance will be measured by the responses that you give so pay more attention on your own responses which moves me on to the next point make sure you are familiar with your own UCAS application. There are amount of times 
that I've seen students trying to wing it without having even reread their own personal statements. Well, put it this way, it becomes very apparent to the person interviewing you. Since the likelihood is that they've interviewed hundreds, if not thousands of candidates, and they'll know who has and hasn't prepared. So questions like, why did you apply here? Why this particular course? Or why this particular university? These are some straightforward questions you're bound to be asked in one way or another. So make sure you have mentally prepared your response for this and also guys if you want more questions like this then feel free to DM me on Instagram and I'll be happy to send out some routine questions that I use for my students here this is the part where making references to your personal statement or building up on things that you already mentioned would be a really good idea think about it the interviewer only knows you to the words that you put on your application so now is the opportunity for you to bring that out into life which would of course boost your profile in their eyes so here's another tip. At some point in the interview, I want you to mention how you as an individual, because of your past accomplishments, challenges, and whatever else you may have, may, may have gone through, you're in this position, you're sitting in front of them now, and I want you to mention how you see this as a very opportunity, as a stepping stone to excelling further. And here's the ace of the sleeve. You also wanna add in how you succeeding in all of this will add value to their institution. The reason I'm saying this is purely because too many people are looking at this as a one-way thing where it's all about them. Try and understand the university is also looking to invest in you because, because essentially that's what they're doing. I know you'll be paying them several thousand pounds a year, but let's leave that argument aside for another day. Now I'm pretty sure you all understand the importance of body language. Everyone knows what it is, but not everyone is good at demonstrating it. But you can be. One of the drawbacks of doing an online interview is that you feel distant and it can be quite difficult to connect to the interviewer on the other side. This is why having a good introduction is absolutely paramount. Make sure in order to have a strong presence that you are looking directly at the camera when you're talking as well as when you're listening. Show your level of engagement by nodding and also expressing yourself using your hands a little bit more. Maybe not as much as I do, as using slight body movements evokes emotion and the impression that you are enthusiastic about it. Also, don't feel as though you have to rush into your responses. You can by all means take a pause before you begin your actual response. Have a structure in your mind in terms of how you would like to respond. What I personally do when being asked a question before I respond, I tend to come up with three bullet points in my mind and then as I'm speaking it out my answer, I ensure that I cover all three aspects. Again, the best thing I would advise you to do is to prepare beforehand. Now, I don't wanna go into the whole generic thing of how you should dress appropriately. Yes, even though it is online, you still want to come across as being smart and that you haven't just rolled out straight from your bed into the interview. Let me ashamedly tell you about a huge blunder I made in the past whereby I turned up to a corporate interview. And till this day, I personally believe that that was one of my top interview performances. You have to understand there was only one place on offer for this role and hundreds of students applied for this position from all over the country. I remember having four people interviewing me and surprisingly, I was super calm and collected. I recall making them laugh in the interview, not like the way that I make you guys laugh, but in these videos. Anyway, look, the interview went over its time limit and they even thanked me for attending. Two of them walked me out of the building and our conversation continued on in the escalator. Now, anyone knows a thing or two about interviews will know that that was a sweet move. But anyway, a couple of days later, I get an email from the interviewer praising me for, for my interview performance and how blah, 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 that I you know had potential and I'd, be, I'd do great in the future and so forth. And it got me all excited and right, and right before I reached the bottom, it turns around and said that they had to reject me because I didn't wear a tie. Because I didn't wear a tie. That was a huge opportunity for me. I was still at university trying to get a placement in this multi-million pound co corporation and I turned up in what I would consider as a decent looking suit with an open collar shirt. You know, smart casual in my opinion, but you see they saw me as being too relaxed. One of the guys even turned around and said to me that I looked and acted like one of the producers. I still feel bummed about that till this day. And oh yeah, the company that I'm referring to was Warner Brothers Studio in London, just, just in case you wanted to know. Look guys, if this was helpful to you in any way, then do give this video a thumbs up, share it with your buddies that can also benefit from this and also consider subscribing to the channel if you have anything you'd like to ask, drop it in the comment section down below. And on that note, guys, my name is Amin, and I will catch up with you another time.